The most important part is Lieutenant General Ayman wasn't aware that ISI is keeping a close tab on his activities. So much so that they decided to bug his room. The title surely would have baffled you. Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal Sattar's retirement was actually a shock for a lot of people because he was being pitched as the next chief of army staff of Pakistan. A lot happened before he put up his papers and we are here to tell you exactly what happened. This is going to be a short and crisp video. Don't forget to like, share and smash that subscribe button. Watch the complete video. Welcome to Resident News. So first of all, who exactly is Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal Sattar? He's retired now. He was seen as a pivotal figure of Pakistan Army military la landscape. This is exactly why he was allowed to handle Mangla Corps. He was a Corps commander of Mangla and this position is usually handled by someone who is very trustworthy because this place is sitting right next to India and it has played vital role during 1965 and 1971 uh, wars. Uh, it is also said that Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal had played his role in bringing Pakistan out of the FATF grey list. For the same reason, he was supposed to be close to PTI leaders, which is Imran Khan's party. So one of the figures with whom he was extremely close was Umar Ayub. In fact, they are still close. Umar Ayub is the grandson of General Ayub, who was the ex-dictator, the former dictator of Pakistan. Um, his grandson is Umar Ayub and he is a PTI leader. Umar Ayub and Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal are extremely close. So after Imran Khan's party protested on May 9th last year, um, Umar Ayub went into hiding and it is believed that Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal helped protect him. And that's when his relations with Asim Munir began to sour. So uh, he not just landed in controversy because of his PTI connection, there were also corruption allegations against Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal. When he was the core commander of Mangla, he had apparently renovated the house where he was staying and uh, the rumour was that it costed about 25 crores. He had come out and claimed that it not cost 25 crores, it costed about 5 to 6 crores, which is still very high. But he claimed that this house can be uh, used by all the core commanders who are going to stay there after him and this was required. The most important part is Lieutenant General Ayman wasn't aware that ISI is keeping a close tab on his activities. So much so that they decided to bug his room. Well, uh, when Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal was on a foreign trip, it was a religious trip and he wasn't aware that his room was bugged. He uh, had some meeting with a person and uh, in that meeting, he spoke candidly um, about his relations with General Asim Munir, which of course wasn't great because of Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal's relations with PTI. Uh, these days in Pakistan, anyone who has close relations with Imran Khan is seen as a traitor or at least, uh, uh, you know, he's not in the good books of Pakistani army. Lieutenant Ayman uh, faced the wrath of General Asim Munir when Lieutenant General Asim Munir, uh, sorry, G Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal returned from that foreign trip the recording was played back to him and uh, an embarrassed Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal decided to put up his papers. This incident might be a gossip to us, but within Pakistan, this is an indication of a major purge which is being carried out against the soldiers who hold politically divergent view and it is pretty shameful. But uh, the saving grace in Lieutenant General Ayman Bilal's case is that his retirement privileges will not be taken away from him. One of the reasons is because, um, you know, if he is given his uh, retirement privileges, he will not open his mouth after he retires. So that way General Asim Munir is avoiding another controversy after he retires. This incident has now stirred up a storm inside Pakistan army is what we hear. It's a developing story. If we come across any updates, we'll update you about it. Before you leave, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and do post your feedback in the comment section. Let us know what kind of story do you enjoy. Till we meet again, stay informed.